Greetings. Mm -hmm. If you clicked on this video, you already know that we are going to be talking about some green fountain pens. So I'm just going to assume that you have at least a passing curiosity about green pens. With that information in hand, I'm going to grab hold of some other features over here and then showcase 10 fountain pens that are indeed green and something more. We are starting off strong. And by that, I mean two things. One, that the green Diplomat Arrow is literally quite strong. And two, that it is one of the most gorgeous green pens ever. Every anodized aluminum color of the Arrow has an absolute stunning look to them. And this green packs a punch. Couple that with the sturdy metal construction, the Yovo steel nib, and you've got a phenomenally vibrant green that's going to be sturdy and durable. Green, sturdy. Up next is the Twisby Eco in Royal Jade with Rose Gold. Let's talk about the green factor here. Lovely green, yes. But the way it looks with the Rose Gold furniture, mm. just a delight. This is one of those color combinations that I just wish I could, you know, put on a sandwich. So color, good, yes. Feature-wise, this is the capacity green pen for the list. With the internal piston, you can directly fill this pen with enough ink to get you through whatever writing adventure you're gearing up for. And speaking of the piston, look at that piston rod. Also rose gold. Delicious. This next pen is a Banu. So you might already know what you're getting into there. Spoiler alert, it's not subtlety. Specifically, I'm talking today about the Banu Talisman 4-Leaf Clover. I'm not going to pretend that this pen has any non-being green features. The bonus feature here is just more green. It's a green that you cannot ignore. Sparkly, wild, banshee screaming down a water slide green. And let me tell you something else. The Talisman model here, Banu actually takes the lucky element that these pens are named after and incorporates that element into the resin of these pens, meaning, in this case, that the pen contains actual four-leaf clovers, uh, other than the glitter. I don't know if these are liquefied or dried up and ground clovers, but allegedly, they're in there, so lucky. Taking a hard turn from Banu, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we bring together green and professionalism. The Platinum 3776 Century in Laurel Green is what I'm recommending to you if you're looking for a green pen that's classy and distinguished. The green pairs amazingly well with the gold hardware, giving it a nice, you know, rich, earthy tone. This is the first gold nib on our list today as well, so you're getting Platinum's reputable 14 karat gold nib as well as Platinum's slip and seal cap that does a superb job of making sure your pen doesn't dry out on you. If you want your green pen to also be a pocket pen, the most obvious choice here is the Kaveco Lilliput. The green aluminum version of this Lilliput is half the price of the other models, and the aluminum construction also means that it is super lightweight. So its portability is up at the top of the industry, being slim, short, and light. But the German-made Kaveco Lilliput also writes extremely well in my opinion. I own one of these and I never get tired of it. While I wouldn't recommend this, uh, it can also survive several falls without a scratch. I know this because a friend was committed to figuring out how to twirl this in his fingers and he, he had to give up on that. It's a friend. But Drew, what if I want green and easily affordable? Well, you need the Dark Emerald Platinum Profonte. Uh, I was fairly certain that this one, the Dark Emerald, was the best-selling color of the Profonte. Turns out, no, it was the Night Sea. I was legit shocked, though, because this green is so good. Anyway, it should be the most popular. This pen is a great choice for a budget-friendly green pen coming in at just $11 at present. The Profonte, like most Platinum pens, happens to be equipped with a spring-loaded inner cap that creates an airtight seal around your nib, keeping it ready to write whenever you summon it. We have arrived at the point 
where I'm going to introduce you to the monarch of Greenberg, Greenbergington Shire. Yeah, the Queen of Green, if you will, the Pelican M1000 in black green. So remember when I said that the dark emerald profonte wasn't the most popular color? Honestly, I should not have actually been surprised because green is almost never, ever the most popular color within a pen model. Only one green version of a pen model has consistently been the most popular, the most iconic, and the most recognizable. Yeah, this one. Whether it's the huge M1000 here or any of the relatively smaller Suveron models, the black and green is the flagship color. So if you want your green pen to be paired with unparalleled prestige and status, it's hard to argue that this isn't the most successful green pen currently available. Okay, so all of these have been pretty middle of the road greens as far as color goes. Now, if you want to go off the beaten path a little bit, these final three might be worth a look. Olive, always a great green, and a great incentive to look for some sharp olive ink, which are also great. Take a look at this one, the Sailor 2023 Pen of the Year, the Golden Olive 1911. The color balance here is just right on target. Obviously, the olive resin and the gold accents are tag team champs, but the special thing that really brings it all together here is the gold shimmer throughout the olive. The entire visual is so cohesive, and the 1911 itself provides you with a stellar writing experience, whether you choose the 21 karat nib on the 1911L or the 14 karat nib on the smaller 1911S. Moving away from Olive, we're going to travel over to Lime. Loud, bright, cheerful. If that is the vibe you want to write with, consider the green Lamy Safari. This funky thing brings the lime vibes, but also brings durability and versatility. A great pen to start with if you want a pen to throw in your bag. If you get tired of the nib you selected at first, it's also very easy to acquire and install a new one to keep things fresh. Like a lime, I guess. I don't know. What about teal? The Pilot Custom 743 Verdigris is definitely more green than blue. So if you wanted to venture right up to that green-blue border, this is a great destination. The 743 is big enough to feel immensely comfortable in your hand, but not so big that it feels like an obvious big pen. My personal favorite thing about this pen, though, is the variety of nib sizes. Nibs like the Double Broad and the Falcon nib are not common, but both are a ton of fun. That concludes our list. You can find these pens available on gouletpens.com if you want to snag one. Have fun, right on.